Hey, this is Mosquito, also known as Chris. Welcome to the shop. Somebody asked me if the Boxmaker's plow plane could do stopped grooves, so that's what we're going to take a look at today. So the first thing I'm going to show is a stopped groove where the starting end is still open. So if you need to, you know, groove for a box or something where you didn't want the ends to show. I'm measuring the length of the front skate and I'm going to mark that out on my workpiece. I've already got the groove width marked where that's going to be. And I'm just going to go ahead and mark it out and then chop it out with a chisel just to kind of get an ending place, which you'll see later for that skate to go. So I just chop it out, clear it out with the chisel, and then now I'm setting up the plow plane just to make sure that it's in the right spot. And you can kind of see there's that end where the front of the plow plane can kind of go where the iron can still cut and it finishes the cut off of the piece that hasn't been done yet. And the front of the skate can just sort of end up in that little front pocket. So this is one way that you can go about doing a stopped groove, uh, especially when the entry side is still open because it's just basically plowing a groove where you're making sort of a false end for the board. The only thing to keep in mind is just to make sure that you don't accidentally ram the plow plane into the end of that too hard because you, you can still damage it and you know depending on whether or not that's going to be shown you might want to just leave a little bit that you can clean up with a chisel at the end. And here we go just kind of cleaning out the chips. And there's a stopped groove where the entry point is not stopped. Now we're going to take a look at a groove where both ends are stopped. So obviously the plain iron, I've got the beginning and the end kind of marked and you can't do a whole lot with the plow plane. You kind of get that first couple of shavings, but you really got to be careful uh, just, just because you don't want to go too far and overshoot your line and ruin the whole thing. So, like, you know, I mean, you, you can get a couple, but here you can see I'm starting to hit that end after only a two shavings. The front's plowing into that, so obviously we're not going to be able to do it just with that. You could maybe tap the iron down, just, you know, advance the iron and then make another pass, advance the iron, make another pass. That's kind of the way the Hawkins works, but it's just not going to work here. So let's take a different approach. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the first stopped groove. So I'm going to mark out, it's about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, somewhere in there. And then chop the end out with a chisel just because that's kind of the easiest way to get the first part of the groove done. Because it's really not that big with the box maker's plow plane. And you can just kind of have that spot for the front part of the skate. And then you basically just start it out the way you had it before. Now, the slight caveat here is obviously since the rear is not done, you know, I, I have somewhere to go. So I'm kind of cutting downhill with it. So you're kind of cutting down into that front piece. So you can see that there's a little ramp there. And obviously, you know, I'm not going to be able to get all the way down to my depth stop here because, well, that's a ramp. So anyway, it, you can kind of keep going until you more or less stop at that end. So the issue here, obviously, is you can only cut so far. And once you cut that far, you kind of need to figure something else out. You could come in here with a small router plane or a router plane with a quarter inch iron or whatever size and just go at it with that. But we're going to try for a little bit better than that. So here I'm going to mark out the other end again. So I'm in this instance, I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. But so it's it's the same inch and a half, inch and a quarter, whatever, for the front part of the skate on this end. And what I'm going to do is just flip the plane body around because with this one and where the groove is, it's really not a problem. Everything clears so I have enough room for this. Might not work if you don't have, you know, the grooves in set far enough. So that's where maybe having an additional left-handed plane might work. But I'm not left-handed, so eh, this could be interesting. But basically, it's just the same thing. So you're going to be cutting down into the groove and into that front little, I guess, groove that you chopped with a chisel exactly the same way as the right-handed side. But this time we're just cutting back and, well, I mean doing the same thing, so it seems to work pretty well. And then because of the way that this is working where you're kind of cutting down into both ends, there's going to be a little hump in the middle and you can just take that out with the router plane and get it down to final depth and just get it all cleaned up. So it works pretty well. It might not be an issue if you have a longer groove because you might be able to just get the plane down into the groove earlier and then not quite have that same hump in the middle. But uh, with this shorter, probably around six inch groove I had to, but 
Anyway, that is a stopped groove where both the end is one side open, one side closed, and where both sides are closed. So, I don't know. Hopefully that helped at least the one guy that asked. <laughs> Thanks for watching.